Hello and welcome back to the Top 85 Games for the BBC Micro Video Countdown Series. In at number 49 is a game called Fortress. Now this was released in 1984 on cassette for the BBC Micro uh, from a company called Pace Software and it was developed by a guy called Matt Newman. Uh, Matt based the game um, quite closely on a 1982 Sega game called Zaxxon, which was popular in the arcades and also on the Atari. Uh, and it, uh, I won't go as far as saying it necessarily introduced the concept of an isometric uh, perspective game, but it definitely is one of the most iconic of that genre. Um, and for the BBC Micro, fairly rare actually in, in its day. Uh, most side-scrolling shooters were exactly that, side-scrolling with a sort of two-dimensional or bird's-eye view um, perspective. And uh, Fortress definitely shook things up by introducing this isometric view. Um, I imagine it was pretty difficult to code as well, so uh, all credit to Matt Newman for that. Um, the other thing to say about Fortress, as we will soon discover, is that it is phenomenally difficult. Um, so if, like some of my viewers, you enjoy watching videos of me dying a lot, um, I think you're going to get a lot of pleasure out of this video. Anyway, let's take a look. Okay, let's load it up. Now, I have to say, one of my favourite things, apart from that splash screen there, which is pretty amazing, do like a good splash screen, um, oh, well, I'd forgotten about this as well, a little extra. Um, interestingly enough, uh, yes, although it was released by Pace Software, it apparently was also done under the auspices of Amcom um, for, by Matt Newman. I like the fact that he's also indicated how long it took him to code the game. That's quite a nice little touch there. Yes, now what I was going to say is my favourite aspect of Fortress in terms of how it opens is that wonderful message in block capitals, it is possible. Um, you'll forgive me for thinking that perhaps that was necessary to put in there because most people, including me, playing this game would think, no, it really isn't. Um, but let's have a look. That's enough talking about it. Let's see what it's all about. So we're going to stick with those controls. They work well enough for me. All right, here we go. So instantly, you can see this is a, quite a work of art. I mean, look at the look at the graphics on this. It is, it is really, really. Oh well, dead already. Um, Yes, I mean, it just looks so stunning. I mean, you look at that and just think, compare that to a lot of other shooters of its day. Um, and, I mean, it really is, really is amazing. Um, and, yeah, it, you've got a lot of things to uh, sort of take care of here. You've got to make sure that your fuel doesn't run out, which mine has just done. Um, whilst also, obviously, avoiding the obstacles as you, as you, as you carry along. Um, including those rather nasty... Oh, there's a fighter there. Right, well, I think that was the end of my first go. Wow, I didn't think that justified being in the top ten, but there we are. Also, the terrific ten, I should say. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, you've got to manage your fuel supply, which is that red bar uh, that's rapidly decreasing. Um, you shoot one of the fuel uh, dumps, you, you manage to obviously... Well, you don't... <laughs> don't actually get a lot of fuel um, it's not uh, it's not like uh, you know you shoot one and then that's it you, you can sort of fly safe for a while um, you really have to keep on hitting those things uh, I'm not quite sure what the logic is I mean you would think that by shooting at a fuel dump you, you would uh, you'd actually um, oh, actually get that plane uh, you'd actually uh, destroy the fuel dump but uh, anyway now you can see my life count at the top there. I'm, I'm, I'm now on my last life of this play. Um, one of the sort of small mercies of Fortress... Oh, no, that's it. <laughs> one of the small mercies of Fortress, I was going to say, uh, is that uh, it doesn't it doesn't sort of stick you back at the beginning each time you lose a life. I mean, there are certain games I could think of who basically you've got one chance um, in you know within the life that you're playing, and although you've got multiple uh, attempts, um, you know, within the same score, uh, they tend to sort of stick you back at the beginning. Oh dear, I've run out of fuel already. Oh, it really is quite hard to uh, maintain the old fuel supply there. Um, now, apparently, in this game, uh, if you manage to make it, oh dear, <laughs> if you actually manage to run the gauntlet that is Fortress, um, you actually get to some sort of enemy base HQ. Oh dear, I shouldn't fly over those rocket launches, should I? Yeah, it's probably best not to do that, Colin. Um, right, let's try again. Um, yes, you, you get to some sort of enemy HQ, which you're supposed to then destroy. Uh, it would help if I could get that fuel on landing, actually. Oh, dear. Ah, like, oh, I just noticed old Matt has uh, put his name in there at the, uh, on, the, on the little boards at the side. That's quite a nice little, uh, little touch from the programmer. I always, always like to see things like that. 
slightly more subtle than just having the uh, the game publisher sort of splattered across the screen as you get on certain games. Oh no, I've hit the old rocket launcher again. Dear me. Alright, let's, let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. Come on. Uh, let's get that, let's get that. Uh, get some more fuel. Ooh, there's that fighter. Oh no, he shot me. Although I did manage to get him. Oh dear. Yes, I did warn you in the introduction that you'd be seeing a lot of me dying, and uh, not not a huge amount, unfortunately, of the uh, the game's development um, in terms of how it, how it progresses. Um, I am afraid uh, that although I do enjoy a game of Fortress, I'm really not very good at it. Um, I, I imagine that some people must be better at it than I am, but I have read some some comments on the Star Dot forums and other places that suggest that it isn't just me that finds this really really hard work. Um, I do I do feel also that the the sort of lack of the ability to stock up on lives while you're playing really hinders your progress. Right, so one assumes that uh, if you get enough points you get an extra life here or there. Oh dear. Well, I think that was my last one. Yep, well, I didn't even make it into the terrific 10 that time. Well, <laughs> Not that I'm surprised by that. Um, yes. I like the colour scheme, by the way, as well. I mean, obviously, with the BBC, you have to, to pick a, a you know a mode for your for your colours. But I think its sort of use of red, white, and blue um, is rather rather good, actually. And obviously, a bit of black thrown in as well. Um, oh dear, oh dear! You'd think after these uh, these attempts, I would get wise to some of these some of these tricks that the uh, the game plays on you. It's because I I'm, I'm so fixated now on not running out of fuel. That's my problem. Oh dear. It's a shame. I, I had a, I had a, I had a go at this earlier when I was doing a few practice runs, and I actually didn't make too bad a progress in it. But uh, obviously, that's escaped me now. Oh, come on, get some fuel, get some fuel. That's the thing. If you don't get the fuel, oh, if you don't get the fuel early enough on, you're basically uh, doomed. Okay, well, that's, that's a good, good clearance of fuel there. Okay. Let's maybe just play a game of avoiding the obstacles, shall we? Let's just fly over some of these. Oh, no, well that didn't last very long, did it? I should, I should really be making more use of the old isometrics here. It's, I think it's just because I know that as soon as I fly out in the air, that's it. I can't, I can't, uh, can't avail myself of the fuel dumps. Uh, dear, oh dear. Um, yes, well, as I always say with these videos, um, I'd be really keen to hear from anyone that's played played Fortress, uh, in this case, uh, or any of the games, obviously, that I make videos about. Um, I'm always curious to know how other people find them, you know, I've, I've noticed that when I made my video about Volcano and uh, made a few complaints about how ridiculously hard that is, um, I, I was rewarded to find that, actually, yes, quite a few other people thought the same. Um, and uh, yes, I, I, I hope that I'm not in the minority when it comes to Fortress in terms of thinking that it really is quite hard to get anywhere with. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, no. At least I destroyed that plane. I've got a couple more lives to play with, so let's... Oh, no. Try not to die straight away. Oh, no. Oh, the plane shot me, that's why. Ah, that was a shame. I thought I was making a bit of... Uh, spell me her name properly. I thought I was making a bit of progress there, but uh, clearly not. Um, yes, I mean, going back to what I was saying at the start, though, I mean, it, you know, hard, hard, hardness of gameplay aside, if I can put it that way, um, I think Fortress definitely deserves uh, its rating, you know, above quite a few other games that we've seen, just purely on the basis of the, the you know, the, the amazing isometric view. It really is, really is stunning. Um, I think, I think it, you know, for a 32K computer, as obviously the Beeb was, um, really, really impressive graphics. Um, and it packs it in with all the sound effects as well. Um, so you've got quite a, quite a lot of the old white noise there, which I, th I feel that a lot of game developers quite like to use the white noise effect for a, a rocket engine of some description. Um, but I think it's quite clever how it changes pitch based on the, uh, the altitude of the plane. That's not, not a bad little touch there. Wow, I think that's the earliest death I've had in, <laughs> in this video so far. Um, all right, let's, 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 go, let's take to the skies. Come on. See if we can get a bit further. Nope. I'm going to run out of fuel in a minute. Yep. There we go. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> really is quite difficult to uh, to balance not getting shot at whilst also maintaining a healthy supply of fuel. Um, these are the uh, the perils of Fortress. Oh, I need to 
move out of the way of the plane after shooting it. That's my uh, that's my trouble there. Well, I, th I should have probably kept a death count when I started the video just to see how many times I died. Um, but uh, yes, it's certainly been a certainly been a, a death heavy video this one. Um, but that's Fortress for you. It's uh, it's a fairly uh, uh, relentless game, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't give you many uh, hostages to fortune. It's it's fairly fairly tough, fairly brutal game, um, but a beautiful game. You know, I think that's what I think that's <laughs> honestly that's why it, it it people like it, including me. You know, it's 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 not just the fact that it's uh, you know a good a good little shooter. It really is beautiful to play, um, even though it is so phenomenally difficult <laughs> um, sort of the difficulty almost you sort of you sort of let it slide don't you because you think well you know what it's such a good game um, to, to sort of immerse yourself in that even if you don't make a lot of progress you really do feel like you've you've had a good time so I'm probably going to give this maybe one or two more tries before drawing the video to a close as I appreciate that wow okay that's my earliest death so far wow that really was terrible <laughs> um, because I appreciate that uh, not everybody will want to watch me play the same few seconds of, of, of Fortress over and over again. Um, but as I've said in, in, in other reviews that I've that I've written about Fortress before, um, it's, it, I think the sort of the, the game's reward really comes in just that sort of sense of survival. You know, if you manage to, if you do manage to get just a few seconds further into the game and just see a little bit more of the scenery, um, it makes you feel like it was worthwhile. Uh, which is a funny sort of feeling to have, really, for a shooter, because you would typically expect that sort of uh, thrill from an adventure game, or a, you know, something like a, a Palace of Magic or a um, Striker's Run. But you know, I think with Fortress, just the reward really is just being able to see how long you can survive, and and that can literally be measured in seconds, or at least particularly when I play it. Um, actually, oh dear. Okay. I think that I should take the sign at this point that I'm not going to get uh, certainly to the top spot there, um, or indeed much further than we've seen in the in the, in the game's video so far. So for Amcom's Fortress from Matt Newman, um, I think we'll, we'll draw it to a close. I hope you've enjoyed that one, and uh, if you've not played Fortress before, definitely hunt it out. I hope this video has at least persuaded you that it's a good fun game to, to play, um, even if you do die rather a lot like I do. Um, anyway, until the next time, goodbye!